Do you ever find yourself struggling to accomplish your goals or get anything done? You come up with these amazing ideas and things to do and things you want to learn, but you just lack the motivation to start or the discipline to keep going. Around New Year's, a lot of people set one of their resolutions as going to the gym and getting in shape. But if we just fast forward a week or even a month, most of these people have completely quit. So sometimes you get enough motivation and actually get around to starting on these things, but after a while you find yourself in a position where you're lacking the willpower or discipline to keep going. If any of this seems familiar, it's because we're all humans and this is just another human experience and you don't have to worry because you're not alone in this. In this video, we will talk about the differences between motivation and discipline and how to maintain both of them in order to achieve any of your goals. And I will bet you and guarantee you any amount of money if you go through this whole video, apply the contents of it, and you still lack motivation and discipline. Let's start with motivation. It's the force that propels you towards your goals. It's the desire to achieve something that's important to you. Whether it's losing weight or winning a competition or getting a promotion or learning a new skill, whatever it is, motivation will get you on that road. When you're motivated, you feel energized and optimistic about the future. You feel full of life. You have this clear vision of what you're willing to accomplish and you're willing to put in the effort for it. Motivation can come from external factors such as rewards or recognition for your work or internal factors such as passion and self-determination. In simpler terms, Motivation is that fire inside you that pushes you towards your goals. Discipline, on the other hand, is the ability to stick to a plan even when you're not feeling motivated. It's the practice of doing what you need to do even when you rather be doing something else. Discipline requires self-control, commitment, and perseverance. It's the ability to stay on track even when distractions, setbacks, and obstacles get in your way. Now, you also need to remember that motivation is temporary. It comes and goes unexpectedly, and you cannot count on it. But you can count on your self-discipline to propel you forward. Lucky for you, self-discipline can be practiced and developed into an actual habit for you. Now, here's something very simple you can do to keep you on track when you need a little bit of motivation. A good example would be instead of saying, I want to lose 20 pounds of weight, you have to remind yourself, why are you even losing the weight in the first place? Is it to look good and you can feel happy when you look in the mirror every morning? Is it just to feel the challenge? Does that satisfy you? Is it for health reasons and you want to live longer for your kids or whatever? Any of these reasons and any reason you have is probably valid. You just got to remind yourself of it. Remind yourself of the why. Why am I doing this? I'll give you a personal example of mine. I want to make a shit ton of money. But money, to be honest, has never really motivated me. I don't care that much. So instead, what I found very motivating is reminding myself that I'm doing this to give back to my family. Even though we grew up really poor, I believe they did their best and I owe them a lot. So I'm doing this to give back to those around me and hopefully one day be able to impact my own community. And one day when I have my own children, I want to make sure that they have a much better opportunity than I ever had. And then if that doesn't work, I dig much deeper and think about the consequences of what's going to happen if I don't do what I need to do, which is that my family is going to die poor because I just watched instead of pushing myself. I'm not going to go anywhere in life. I'm going to die poor and my children are never going to be proud of me. It's a bit dark, but to be honest, it's just the reality we live in. So sometimes you got to remind yourself of the good result. And if that's not working, then remind yourself of the bad consequence. So pause this video right now and ask yourself, why are you doing what you're doing with your life right now? Why are you committing to certain things? What are the results? What are the consequences if you don't keep going? What's your motivation? I'm serious. Pause this video and get back to it once you've figured out why. 
I'm hoping that you thought for a second as to why you're doing what you're doing and you found out. And if you couldn't come up with the why, then that's your signal that you have a much bigger problem. Now, make this a habit and every single time you're bored, you're tired, you're exhausted, you're feeling miserable, you're in pain and you're procrastinating, remind yourself of the deeper why. Remind yourself of the important why and why are you doing it. Now, we're gonna move on to the next habit. Just to be there just for five minutes. I don't remember where exactly I heard this before, but it's awesome. So, let's say you wanna go to the gym, but you feel completely unmotivated, you feel drained, you feel exhausted. But you gotta remember, fuck the workout, you're trying to build your self-discipline here. So all you gotta do is just go there, show up, and be there for five minutes. And then if you wanna leave, leave. You just have to trick your mind to go and start. Same thing with any task you're currently procrastinating. You need to write an essay, five minutes. You don't wanna go to class, show up for five minutes. You don't wanna practice your skill, do it for five minutes. You wanna work on your business, five minutes. All you gotta do, show up. More likely than not, you will stick around and end up doing that thing anyways. Do you know what's the biggest reason you're probably unmotivated and very undisciplined? It's all the easy dopamine hits you're getting. Tell me if this sounds familiar. You wake up, you go on your phone, you spend maybe 10 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour, maybe fucking five hours if you have nowhere to be. And then whenever you have some free time during the day, you're gonna hop on your PlayStation, your computer, play a video game. And then before you, right before going to bed, you take your phone with you and spend another hour or two just scrolling mindlessly through social media. And then if you're at work between tasks, guess what you do? You fucking pick up your phone and start scrolling, right? When you're taking a fucking shit, you're still on your phone scrolling. Do you know how I know all of this? Because I used to be like this. It's not a shame to admit you have a problem so you can start working on it. So if you want to learn discipline and be motivated all the time get rid of it all get rid of the video games i swear to you the day i uninstalled my video games it my life became so much easier i started being so much more productive and what i did to my phone is i shut off my phone completely turn it off just before i go to bed i don't take the phone with me to bed which is the important part completely turn it off i go to sleep I wake up and I don't turn it back on until I'm already outside the house on the way to the gym. This has saved me so much time. It had kept me motivated to get out of bed instead of just going on my phone. And if you really struggle with YouTube, TikTok or Instagram or whatever, just delete the apps. You do not need them. They are not oxygen. You don't need them. For me personally, I had an addiction to YouTube shorts. The only way I remember it went away is when I deleted the app for like a month until I stopped watching shorts. This has saved me so much time and I don't get any free dopamine without working for it. You have to earn it. This is not gonna be easy at first. It's gonna be really challenging, but nothing easy was ever worth doing anyways. So put your phone down, put it in a different room if you really can't resist once you go to bed and go to bed. And don't pick up that fucking phone until you've started with your daily routine. Which takes me to the next point. Which is building a daily routine. This is crucial. And if you're not willing to take the time to figure out a routine that suits you and fits you, please feel free to click off this video right now. Because if you don't have the willpower to do that, then you're honestly lost. So why a daily routine exactly? Well, you see, the best way to build discipline is through habits that create momentum in your day. I go to the gym in the morning because it's just part of my routine now, and it helps me kick off my day with a positive attitude. You see, your brain is very simple, and it loves accomplishing small tasks, and especially at the start of the day, it will give you a small jolt of dopamine for each task. Although it would be ideal, I'm not saying you have to start your day with working out, but 
the least you can do is get into these small habits like make your bed when you wake up make a cup of coffee get in the shower have breakfast if you like it do these things exactly in the same order every day as soon as you wake up and it will kick you into this momentum that will stay with you for a while now if you already wake up at the same time every day then you're on the right track all you need to do is just figure out a routine that fits you once you've established that now all you gotta do is fit your goals within that routine so let's say you're learning a new skill from now on from 5 to 7 p.m that's your time nobody will distract you not your family not your friends not your phone nothing that's your time for learning that skill you just make it a habit make its own time it's in your routine now now we're gonna move on to the final trick in this video which is resetting your reward and dopamine system in the brain if you have managed to build a daily routine and get rid of your distractions i promise you you're almost there the last thing you need to do is learn how to enjoy the pain when you're doing a task and it feels miserable it feels painful it feels like absolute and utter shit all you gotta do say it to yourself in your head that you love this you're enjoying the challenge and you find pleasurable a lot of pleasurable time in the challenge and in the pain and in the boredom you're currently experiencing because it's fully challenging you and you love it you might be in an actual physical state of pain from exercising or mental pain from studying for example but you just gotta convince yourself that you love the effort and at the end of it you'll get more dopamine after getting this done but you will also get a lot more dopamine depending on how hard you work what you find if you're doing this over time is you can evoke a dopamine release from the friction itself from the challenge instead of the reward at the end of your task also realizing this concept just do things that challenge you the more you do it the better you'll get at it to sum it all up in no specific order start by making it a habit to remind yourself of the whys and make it very clear of what your goal is then get in the habit of showing up for at least five minutes make sure you don't keep devices and vices around that reward you for doing nothing then just build a daily routine and stick to it and finally learn to enjoy the pain learn to love the challenge itself learn to fall in love with the misery you're going through and if you've made it all the way through this video there is hope for you just get off your ass and figure it out stop complaining and whether you see it or not you're so fucking lucky to be able just to watch this video if you come to my side of the world there's so many people anybody here will trade their life for yours stop being so ungrateful to all of the gifts you have statistically speaking you can walk you can run you can see you can hear you can use both your arms you don't have any major disability stop being so fucking ungrateful stop being so resentful like life owes you something stop throwing it all away you have so much potential if you just try you owe it to yourself and everybody that has ever loved you to just try. The world is really lost right now. And I don't want to have to raise my children in this world. Everybody's hurting. But maybe we can change it. One person at a time. 